G'day and welcome back to our Idealist Cossacks campaign where we've taken the chance of declaring on Yaren and it's not at all gone how we wanted. Luckily Haichi are still at war with them and they are going for, I assume a conquest of something. Second Haichi conquest of Yaren, Yaren itself, which is, well, you can't see it, Yaren, Yaren, must be, alright, whatever. Hopefully he'll be occupied doing these for four months. We can take this quickly, preferably this month, and then head on to his capital. Damn it. Uh, if we can actually pull this off though, it would be freaking amazing. So our war goal is Sakhalin. Can't actually get over there. If he walks around in the mountains doing stuff, we'll be happy. Might she have an army here that he would have to attack? Which means we're actually helping them out. Damn it. But we took over because we were looking at it. Oh, that's typical. Should be able to see it. Oh, now they've paced out. Which means we want to head straight back before they get a garrison. Oh, we'll take his capital instead. That's fine. Well, that was a lot of wasted months there. Let's see what they actually paced out for. Oh, but we're going to get screwed over there. He's going to... Come back and fight us. He split his army. Why has he only got 5k? Hmm. Yeah, somehow we're going to pull this off. At the moment, we can probably white piece. Nope, not long enough. Nowhere near. Our colony is still going, isn't it? Yeah, it's still going. Better not be attacked. Nicely. Luckily everything is mountainous, so we're just going to be defending wherever we are. Just have to keep avoiding his army. Unfortunately Mongolia took stuff over there that would be nice for spacing out a bit. Still no way to get over there. Is the only thing causing any kind of war score. And the blockade. Up there, okay. And it kicks the uh, next idea group, go in quality. All right, because we're going quality, we're gonna grab a military guy. We will gain points, expense of Republican tradition. <sighs> which means there's no longer a leader in charge of this army, which is definitely a bad thing because he was a siege guy. And he was a three, shock guy as well I think. Alright, well, let's go send our guys out. Lose more stability. It's on minus three. Fantastic. Thanks guys. Hopefully you know, idealist peasants everywhere. So have to buy up our stability soon. Robber Barons gain base tax in Gajiga. The nobility gain loyalty. Merchants Lose loyalty and influence, nobility gain influence. Merchants, we can afford to lose it. Or gain base production. Yeah, can't afford for the nobility to lose loyalty, so we have to do this one. Being down on 35 makes that a bit low. No longer care for the Yuki Gear people. That is surprising, didn't think we had that much land. It'll be because we did development. That's fine. Oh, I have to take this thing. At least he's not attacking us. And he's not even in Berea. So what he's doing down there. Okay, there we go. Up to 30%. We only want one province. And he'll even give it to us. Okay, if we can take Darren. And some money. two ducats. Aggressive expansion will be gone pretty quickly. Uh, we could go sit on Berea. A tiny bit more war score for extra money. Won't really cost us anything. Damn it. You can see the loan is getting ready to be taken. 
All right, that should put put it down. Damn it. All right, screw it. Thirty. All right, just send that. Give us two. More than we could have hoped for. All right, head back up there to defend. Don't need to be paying him that much. We will repay all loans. Six ducats in interest. Bloody hell. Should have done it as soon as we could. And that's a high cost. Darren. Can't even core it. We could. No point in reducing that. Sure. Two for your rivals. Hey, we're actually able to rival someone. Let's rival Yaren. That is his entire army. He had to get rid of it when he lost his land. That's cool. Waisugi declared war. Jesus. I think Waisugi's gonna be declared on by Japan. Let's lose a little money. Right, the other core is at 28. That is a long way off. Recall from Mongolia. Or Chin can't get over to the yard here to get rid of their peasants. And we should actually check on this, yeah. High chance that they are going to try and break. And we have no way to get down there. Unless we get through Mongolia and Yaren. Don't like our chance of getting through Yaren after what we just did to them. Irritated over claims, aggressive expansion, all the rest of it. Improve with them because there's nothing else to do. Go for Mongolia. Idealist Ilin Hala. Okay. Fine to get started on that. Really need to boost stability. Because we're having our own peasant issues. 8 years, 12 years, 11 years. That's actually not too bad. Hang on. Ainu and Yaren. Yeah, this is Ainu separatists and that Yaren separatists. At least they're separate. Separatists are separated. Alright, do we want Diplo Tech? Or do we want... I think we want... Actually, we never checked. 11 developments, not bad. It's not making much because of the autonomy. But yeah. Alright, let's go for some development up here. 04 04 04 04 04 Look at it this way Engineers the capital Guess our capital should be one of our best provinces Start like that Making cash now No loans and positive income not bad. Oh, God. Nobility. I should actually try and remember what they give us when they have the province. Nobility, I think, give us improved manpower. Controlled by nobility plus fifty percent. So that will be pretty even. Sixty-eight there. There you have it. Yeah. All right. Nobility can have this. Send them off to the north, I guess. Put them over. Sixteen, twenty-four out of the twenty they need. It's going to be different once we've caught these. We should probably start doing a claim somewhere. This is something we could colonise to get the straight crossing over to Waisugi, but. That's a lot easier when they start off as I knew. Waisugi is pretty freaking powerful. I actually might be close enough to get an alliance to him soon. Let's go and improve with them. Otherwise, we're going to be fabricating on Yaren. And keep trying to kick their ass. Be a good place to get some higher development provinces. Yeah. 
chance to win the war against well, a new war against Rasugi. 94, it's quite a while. Is this by Sugi in war? Just against Yaren. Conquest of Yaran. Hey, he doesn't hate us too much. Zoya's provinces. Irritated over claims will go away in 60 years. 57 years. Alright, Waisugi. How about that alliance, huh? Wish we could do royal marriages. Oh. We can't do a syncretic faith. I don't know when you get to choose that. Probably when you have another faith in one of your cord lands. They are already tengu. Alright. Free call from Waisugi. He will not accept an alliance. Opinion needs to be higher. Alright. Let's fabricate claims on Yaren and do three of them. Waisugi is going to take everything we can fabricate on down there. We have to do it on their capital, which is fine. It means we only need to take one province in a war. Lose money and Yaren hate us. Okay. Prestige is negative. Alright, we get combat ability up. Don't mind if we do. Next, we're going to need to take tech. We're actually almost at the point we could afford an advisor. We could afford an advisor if we weren't doing the uh, colonization. Core chin to a hundred. Different religion. Vajrayana. Uh, we could get 70 more, which take it to 96. So we can't get high enough, so no, we're not doing that. Well, I'm not likely we could give him a gift or anything, but you know, we'll improve with him as far as we can. So what else are we going to do with the Diplomat? Wisugi is in Miyagasan. Miyagasa. He's taken it. That should be pretty much the war over. There we go. Aaron will cede Bahori and Yaran. Aaron will give cause to Hai Chi. Give money. Hai Chi get larger again. So, we didn't get to finish our claim, did we? Nope. Alright. Fortunate. Let's fabricate on Miyugasan. Our only choice now. It's the other two were these ones. Wisugi Ilan. What? Ilan Hala. Alright, more prestige for us. We will keep it blocked up. Make it more. That will slightly affect this. Back up to speed 5. How about some of those stability boosting events? Huh? Alright, what's your issue? Clergy. We expect to control 10% now, do Oh, that's annoying. Culture accepted. Manchu. Fair enough. Alright. What are we going to give to the clergy? I think in this sort of area. Actually, let's give them overseas land. Clergy can have... This one, for sure. No idea what kind of a difference it makes. Trade power. Nope. Tax. Clergy plus 10%. Okay. So Darren, which is just pretty well balanced, can be clergy as well. Production income went up. Or down, I didn't say. Okay, what do we need at the most? Disasters, things come up. Uh, protect our brethren in Bahori, really. Um, we need to start banging through for the military stuff. Because we're going to need to be good for attacking down there. Let's see if he's any good. He's 
to 100 for siege. Bartering, no. Lose all our admin to lose to inflation. Which normally costs 75, so extra 25 is to buy down autonomy. Alright. Has to be done. Come on, Mugasan. So was the other one. Bahori. Yeah, we're not going to attack Wesugi. Allied with Japan and Shimazu. Here, and we can do 94. Golden Era of Culture. Hey, a massive 5 prestige. Uh, Mongolia, we could attack, but they're really big, so we're not going to do that. Can't fabricate on them either. And if we can't attack them, improve relations with them. Merchants lose 10 influence. It's just getting worse and worse. Trade efficiency, everything's gone now. I right, recall from Kochin, Waisugi declared on Hai Shi, who they just gave land to. From Yaren. Dealing with Yarani separatists. I right, recall from Mongolia, let's go improve with Waisugi. And with Korea. Mongolia's tribal feud with Hai Shi. Yeah, they're going to get screwed now. Uh, Hosokawa. How's the money? Yeah, still making it. Turn this down a little because we're not getting attacked much. Made very little difference to our income. It's going to make a lot of difference to the morale. Colonial expansion. Alright, here we go. Sunto Kayata is the one we're in. Plus 30 ducats. Expand colonial territory for two years isn't much. We'll gain 50 for settler increase down. Alright, how much are we paying? We're paying two ducats per month. And we're gaining oh crap he's sitting there. 75 plus 60, or so 130 per year. So this is a year and a bit's worth that we're gonna save. Two ducats per month. It's 24 ducats per year, plus we get extra increases. Yeah, I guess it's worth it. Doesn't even really happen. Good. I wonder if we had a 10 stack, would it be an instant crush? When they pop out with 1 stacks? Should be. That practically is anyway. Alright, inflation for admin. No. What's that? Inflation. So, no real issues. The uh, separatism. Isn't too bad. Tengri minus two is really helpful. Controlled by clergy minus two, that's good to know. So you get all, all your new land to the clergy. A lot less uh, revolt risk. Oh, Waisugi's down there as well. Uh, let's go to Japan itself. And Shimazu. We should go back to improving with Ming. Hey, what's the tech? Diplo, we were going to start doing that actually. Don't want to fall too far behind. And the um, development's not as huge an issue at the moment since we're making money. Army attrition is helpful. We now trend up. And we've got our actual other thing. Cool. 20% infantry combat ability is nice. Haichi will cede Ferdan to Waisugi. Why they didn't just take it from Yaren in that war. And what do we got next? Cavalry combat. They have no cavalry. Guess we're not in a hurry for the next ones. So we'll take an administrator. And we're going to go. F well, we don't need stability yet. Guess we'll try and keep up on tech. Which we probably should have stayed with military to get military tech. 
Inventory fire will be important. Right, another colony done. Let's head this way. Pour it. All looking good. Tristan the errand's over already, really. That was a fast one. Well, I'm going to take a short break here, and when we come back, we will decide whether to go to war with Yaren or not. Thanks for watching, hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I hope to see you again soon. See you later.